Hi Cancers, welcome back to my channel. So your overall energy is the page of Pentacles here. So you could be developing a budget or just getting your finances in order, developing career goals that you want to do to succeed, that you want to manifest in your life here. You are in your divine feminine energy. You're broken out of a rut that you are in and a financial bind here. And you're kind of sticking up for yourself now. You know, you're developing boundaries on the risk that you take and love at the moment. And other situations that you didn't see clarity on, you're developing these boundaries and you're excited to start a new path here. All right. That was for some of you. For second half here, this is a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn looking your way here. Why? Because they see you embracing this divine feminine energy, breaking out of this hold that you are in and it's always cliche like once they feel you moving on here they are trying to come back here and for a lot of them this is a red flag here you, you could be dealing with a strong libra energy aries leo sagittarius here um gemini libra aquarius i think i said that but they're coming in you know and they don't want to come in to talk they just want one thing which is this rod here so be careful cancers or if you're dealing with a cancer here they just want one thing and they have their eye on this one thing this is the only thing that this person is thinking about all right is being intimate with you and i would say move on and focus on these careers all right that's coming forward so let's see what's going on here because this was very straight until the point so clarify the three of wands yeah temperate strong sagittarius energy this person wants to balance things out or you're balancing your life out because you're tired of feeling like shit and you're just tired of being heartbroken so you're taking these two cups and you're balancing out here you know that you are guided you are feel like you are praying just getting that spiritual guidance here to help out with this temperance energy but just know that things are going to balance things out right now yes this hurts like hell ten of cups in reverse to two of cups that's 12 cups in reverse mostly drain heartbroken but you do see the light at the end of the tunnel cancers and things are going to balance out these two cups are going to be full again so this is just basically in the process of filling up again so keep your head up clarify the inference yeah a lot of you feel stuck on how to get this divine feminine energy back but let's clarify the eight of uh, stories yeah or a lot of you could be stuck on trying to figure out what's how to financially um gain independence from a situation here because you're not feeling emotionally confident on how to set your goals and take a leap of faith here a lot you could have been like stay at home parents or just not working at the moment and it's hard for you to get your wishes fulfilled or this person feels stuck on how to give you this offer here and they want to take this leap of faith with you but they don't know how they're getting advice here could dealing with the Taurus, um or you're getting advice on how they got how to get stuck which was helpful seems like because you did become unstuck with the queen of cups and the higher fit with the eight of swords in reverse you're tapping into this emotions and i feel like this person got some good advice that made this person tap in their emotions and with the seven of swords they're coming in to apologize in reverse all right with this nine of pentacles this can be like lack of freedom of independence and like stability at the moment with this nine of pentacles so for some maybe you relied on this person yeah wow strong strong capricorn energy here with that pentacles and the devil but this person was just emotionally cold here and it's like now they see what they did wrong and they're gonna try to balance things out here with that temperance and take action the nine of swords and the king of swords but i still feel like this person is gonna be cold or they're gonna regret being emotionally cold let's just see yeah this is more so we right here that cold they're gonna manifest try to manifest you back into their life here but for that you're just gonna focus on your own manifestations and move on clarify the seven of wands yeah because a lot of you are developing boundaries establishing your happiness dropping this heavy burden that you don't need in your life right now cancers and you're just moving on from this but I like, you know, you're done taking action on a third party situation if you were in one. Um, I'm getting just for a few of you here. But I feel like this person feels you aren't going to take action. You know, with this night of rods here, they're going to try to give you this new opportunity. But they're going to come as the night of rods, just wanting one thing. So it's pretty saying, you know, to get away from this, you know. It's saying like to cut communication with this person, the page of Pentacles, take this new opportunity, take this leap of faith and focus on the signing new beginning you have, you know, drop this burden here because this person is just too draining here. They're always going to cause heartache. 
for you. Fire Five, the Ace of Swords in reverse. You guys know I'm an honest reader. I say it like it is. Yeah, you're going to get the love that you deserve. And this person is just not giving it to you. Exactly. King of Wands in reverse. They don't have the strength to give it to you. And that's why Spirit is saying to end this. And focus. Turn your back on this. At this Queen of Swords. And focus on this new exciting beginning you have towards your independence, this career, you know, financial goes here. We're just saying to embrace your masculine energy of this person, you know, because they're only they're only going to keep causing you this pain here. Spirit is saying to tap into your masculine energy and leave the situation alone here. Because you have the power as the empress to manifest anything that you want. This person is going to keep causing heartbreak, yeah. So I was just saying to just, you know, right now... Let the situation go for a second. Heal and see, you know, what happens here. Because Spirit is saying just to take a break for a moment. Any advice? We have Irama. Where are you being called to join you to? Yeah, and take this brief, brief break as seeing where are you being called to? Where is this new chapter leading you? Because this is only going to lead to an ending here. Yeah, we have dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Yeah, stop being in this rut. For a lot of you, you feel stuck and in this rut and you're holding your back. Dance with life here. Do something to change your energy. Cancers, you know, don't wallow in your emotions for so long. We have longing for home, belonging, the original light worker. So know that you have strong spiritual guides behind you. And they're saying that, you know, Come home, come talk to us about things. You know, we're here for you. We have Unbound right now. You're breaking a lot of soul ties here. We have releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So if you're feeling drained, Cancer, this is why. This is why this is so heavy right now. Because you're releasing a lot from your ancestral energy here, Cancers. All right, so if this resonated, please let me know. Please like and comment, guys. Subscribe. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, please go to my website below. Thank you.